Here's how you can complete activities called circuits. As the instructions state, we begin with and solve problem 1, which is always going to be in the top left corner labeled as number 1. What is 2 plus 3? We know that it's 5. So we search for our answer and enter 2 in the box, and the attached problem becomes problem 2. So the answer is 5 right here. This question becomes problem 2. Next we answer this problem. What is 12 over 3? Well that's 4, so we search again for our answers. This then becomes the next question in our circuit, problem 3. Similarly, what is 4 times 4? Well that's 16, so we look for the answer and that question becomes 4. 30 minus 10 is obviously 20, so that becomes question 5 because the answer here is 20. And then lastly, we ask what is 3 squared? Well, that's 9, so the only box left, thankfully, is that one, and that becomes question 6. The circuit is complete when we, you answer this question, what is 2 minus 2, and it takes you back to the only answer left, which was problem 1. There's only one correct path to the end, including all the problems, so you cannot skip any of these questions. Every single question has to be solved correctly. You have to start at 1 and you have to end at 1 as well. And once you're finished and satisfied, you can click on check work. And if every single one of these numbers and paths is in the correct order, you'll get a green check mark here correct.